Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore. Fill out to him of the games and, of course, breaking news. As well, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app on the App Store, and use the promo code Sense Talk to save $20 off your first purchase. The links are in the description below. Now, let's get to today's breaking news. Colin White, he has signed a six-year contract extension with your Ottawa Senators. This deal is... Uh, it's $28.5 million total. The breakdown is as follows. Next season, 2019-20 season, $4 million. Same thing, 2021, $4 mil. 21-22, however, a uh, $750,000 uh, raise, 4.75. Then it continues, 4.75, 4.75. To the final year, 2024-2025, $6.25 million. Colin White last year had 41 points, 71 games played. His first full year in the National Hockey League. However, uh, after, Colin, uh, after Mark Stone was traded, his... His production dropped a bit. He was a little less noticeable, putting up nine points, fifteen games, with one, only one of those as a goal. Uh, that goal was beautiful. I believe I, believe, I was at the game. It was against Florida or Carolina. I can't remember, but it was a beautiful uh, dipsy dangle top shelf goal. It's all over the highlight reels. But at the end of the day, this is the type of deal the Sanders should be looking to make. A guy like Colin White, first year, showing plenty of potential. Don't give him a bridge deal. Sign him long term. Show that commitment and get him at a low cap it. So when he's in his prime years, and then after two or three years in this deal, you're going to get a good value to this contract as well. A bridge deal sets the sentence up for failure, just like the Mike Hoffman contract. Regardless, uh, with Mike Hoffman's girlfriend happening, he was probably going to get traded because we weren't going to sign him because that's the way the Sanders do things. So the, the not doing the bridge deal gives the sense the ability to control their cap and not have to worry in the next two years when Colin White goes off and go, lives up to his potential. Um, they don't have to worry about signing him to a, a huge deal. They can just wait for four years instead of two to do that. As well, Colin White is the first Sander to be signed long-term since Bobby Ryan, which says something very significant about the way the Sands have been doing things in recent years. Case in point, Derek Broussard traded, uh, got traded to Ottawa for Mika Zibanejad. They did that to save money and avoid signing Mika Zibanejad long-term. So this potentially shows a turning stone in the Sanders organization. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying could be uh, with a long-term extension for Colin White. No signing bonuses in this deal, though, uh, and this goes to the Tom Shabbat issue, where Tom Shabbat, the last month and a half, has been able to sign long-term extension with the Ottawa Sanders, has not, there's really been no movement, maybe this Colin White signing gives some space to Sanders to do that, however, the Sanders are not going to be able to sign Colin White, I mean, Tom Shabbat, to an eight-year long-term contract extension without signing bonuses included, so, I don't know if that's going to be UG Melnick, Going to say, okay, fine, let's do this. Or Pierre Darnie has to convince him. If, if they don't give him signing bonuses, Tom Shabbat's not going to stay in Ottawa and he's going to get offer sheet for sure. That's just my opinion. But at the end of the day, I think this is a great deal for Colin White. Great value for a guy who's going to... I could see him the latter half of this contract putting up 50 to 60 point seasons. I think he's a really good defensive uh, center. Uh, I remember when he was drafted a few years ago that his, product, uh, his comparable is Patrice Bergeron, a defensive forward who puts up a good amount of points. In his first year, 41 points and putting up a good defensive uh, um, Good defensive stats on a really bad team like Ottawa shows that those scouts could have been onto something. I think Colin White the next two three years will be putting up fifty to sixty five points. I think he's the number one line center on this on the team this year. Now that he could also play the wing, he played the wing at some points in the last year or two. Uh, but overall, I think this is a great contract for the Sanders. I think this is a good deal for Colin White to keep him in Ottawa, keep himself in Ottawa. He clearly likes it. I think this is the first step to hopefully rejuvenating this torn fan base and the next step is to sign Thomas Shabbat that needs to be done and hopefully that'll happen before um training camp starts which is only a few weeks away so I don't know if that will happen however I think this Colin White deal will start opening the floodgates to the RFA signing season as we still don't know what's gonna happen with Mitch Marner, Mika Ranton, Kachuk etc 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 I think the Sounders right now are looking at Charlie McAvoy see what he gets to see what Tom Shabbat will get even though Shabbat's obviously better than McAvoy I think they're gonna look at that and be like he get like five six million okay so Shabbat should get eight million or 7.5 something like that as an example I'm just throwing numbers out there but besides that Thomas Shabbat hopefully we'll Get signed soon, but Colin White got signed six year deal, 20.5 million total, uh, with a 4.75 cap it, um, correspondingly. So good for T Colin White, excited to see him in the red, white, the red, black, and white, I guess, for the next six years. And uh, hopefully, this is the next, the, the first step to rejuvenating this fan base and starting 
uh, turning this rebuild into a contention, a contending team. So thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore. For like to updates of the games, and of course breaking news, please like, like us on Facebook, SenseTalk. Add us to circles on Google Plus, SenseTalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video, share this video, wherever share cool stuff. Please, please, please check our website, SenseTalkCentral.com. We update that every single day. And of course, our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app in the App Store and use the promo code SenseTalk, save $20 off your first purchase. Besides that, thank you for watching. Thank you, Colin White, for putting your trust and staying in auto for the next six years. Now let's sign Tom Shabbat. I'll see you in the next one. Go Sensco.